Live and kicking. Should arrive at the observatory double quick. 3-2, you have a heavily reinforced post approximately 200 meters north of your position. I advise you to flank from left. Roger. Hola, senores. Uh, buenas noches. It's uh, Riley. Riley here. So, uh, what's going on, guys? Uh, feel free to call me Raylo. Feel free to call me Riled Raylo. Don't call me Riled. It's just an adjective, and uh, you probably will realize that on your own. But uh, if you're new here, uh, I'm doing a Ghost... Uh, shoot. Man, I forgot the name of this game. Sniper Ghost Wire 2 uh, Let's Play. So I haven't uh, done a whole lot with the first one, but uh, anyway, this one just came out, so I figured I'd, you know, what the heck, why not? So we're going to stealth kill this guy to uh, take away his position and, uh, you know, convince the other uh, Russian buffoons that... Oh, so now we hide a body? I guess he was just getting out the way. We weren't really hiding him. That's not much of a hiding spot, eh? And so we're going to just perch up on his spot and uh, take out this area. Oh, God, we don't want to get seen, though. I don't want to get seen. I don't want to get seen. Go away. Okay, so let's start with the uh, sniper on the roof here. Fiddler on the roof is the uh, first thing that came to mind there, but I don't really have a joke prepared because I uh, don't really want to offend the Jewish audience. So uh, we will just ignore that and take out the guy by the pool. He looks like he's ready to go for a swim, but I guess not. So, All right, so the wind is a little bit bad, so we're going to just wait for him to sit there for a second, and we'll take him out. Beautiful. Back the fuck up, Anderson. I like that this guy's name is uh, very similar to the character's name in uh, fucking whatever it's called, man. Uh, Matrix. Oh, took him out in the foot. I love the physics of this dude. He was like, front flip. But, you know, hardcore parkour did not prevail for him, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's see. Where do I have to go now? Can I go out this way? I think I'm going to have to just go down the stairs. Which, uh, I don't know where the stairs are. Well, there's a side ramp. We'll just, boop, just do like this. That's fine. Pretty steep hill for me to be, just be running down. I feel like I should angle myself a little bit differently. Anyway, we'll proceed to the flare that seems to be... Oh, I guess it's uh, just a little fire. Seems to be conveniently placed nonetheless. Um, and so we'll... Pr oh, it's a car. What the heck are you doing out here, car? This ain't no place for the likes of you. Alright, well, we'll, uh... Ignore the inconveniently, or conveniently rather, I should say, placed car. We're going to just go prone here while these guys probably walk straight past us. I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to be doing. I think I'm just supposed to chill out for right now. There's a guy right there, though. He's crouching. He's getting into some trouble, man. Just keep walking, you buffoon. I don't want to have to hurt you like Duke Nukem. That's right. Walk away. This is like die-hard reenactment, man. Bruce Willis has come to town, and you just deserve to leave. You don't get paid enough for this shit. All right. So we'll head to the opening of this cave here, the mouth, should I say. Oh, God, there's two guys right there. Let's uh, quickly remember how to crouch. Head back up into Le Bouche. Shy Le Bouche. And I'm going to take out the sniper on the roof first because he's got the uh, best view of everything. So we'll just kind of zoom in and not too much wind. Uh, definitely no gravity account for the bullet quite yet because we are so um, shooting at up an upward angle. So we're going to take out this guy in the lame-ass hat. Oh shit, he's on to us now. Take out that asshole first and uh, we'll rip this guy a new one if he pops his head out. Boom. And one more. Boom. Oh! That was wicked sick, actually. That was pretty good. Uh, we'll proceed in and maybe grab this ATV. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So I don't know if the flashing red means I, like, sound an alarm or, like... I think it just means that they're, like, aware of my presence. But I don't know if I was actually spotted. Like, I think I have to actually have that red circle fill around to be spotted. So... So far, we're in the clear, but I think that alarm should go away in just a moment here, hopefully. No, I guess they're still aware that I'm around? That's not good. So there's a total bonus to completing this. Like, oh shit! I can't see anything. I would kind of like to just die right now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I deserve to curl up and die. <coughs> so let's try again. We'll give that another go, eh? 
So let's uh, hopefully. Where, oh, we have to freaking hide in the freaking bushes again, man. I don't like diving in bushes, man. It's so lower class. Just like that joke. But we will wait patiently for these assholes to leave us alone. Talking about some random shit that probably doesn't matter at all. I don't know if I have subtitles on. I thought I did, but uh, it's not showing up on this conversation. Maybe it's just because it's not really important at all. So, Anyway, they're past us now. I think we can make our way safely up to the opening of the cave once again. And maybe we can even take out these guys without being spotted. I know I got the first guy. I think what I'm going to do is wait for their conversation to finish, and uh, hopefully that'll... Uh, okay, yeah, see, I probably should have listened to that, so this tells me it's critical. So, alright, so we, we're going to take out this dude. And then we're going to sneak around instead of killing these guys. Um, there we go. So I definitely need to, like, listen to this bitch a little bit. You know, usually I t just sort of tune out women, but I think at this point... It's between life or death, so I'm going to wait for this guy to turn the fuck around. Please don't see me, you asshole. Okay. And we'll creep up from behind like Taibo. I don't think I want to kill any of these guys yet. Oof. He's looking over here. That's not good. Can I take this guy out? Damn it. Um, do they know where I am? Just be quiet for a second. Chill out. Okay, yeah, I got shot. We're going to have to do that again. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do there. It said stick to the right in the foliage, but... I mean, there's a fence. I know I can't climb fences in this game. This game is not that deep. We're going to quickly lay down here and wait for these guys to pass once again. Um, <clears throat> hint, hint, creators of this game, I don't know who it is exactly, but, um, put the checkpoint after these guys walk by. Guess what? I can do this every single time. There's no challenge here, so I'm not going to die here, so why put the checkpoint before it? Just a message to the editor, if that ever actually makes a difference, but I seriously doubt it will, because I'm guessing about 10 to 20 people are going to watch this, so... You know, you 20 people, you're getting a real good review from this, uh, this guy over here. This guy. What is he doing? Pretending to be Mark Wahlberg in one of his least favorite films. Okay, um, let's listen to this girl. So I want to actually, like, read this shit. Uniform, can you feed enemy positions over? Updating your map now. Dispatch the sentry on the roof at 1 o'clock to increase your odds. I got seen. Fuck me. How did that guy see me? Gah. Okay. Guess what? Checkpoint. I'll demonstrate it one more time. Poorly placed. Alright, well, we'll just chill out here. Talk about the day's end and, you know, pillaging and plundering and stuff like that. You know, it's super annoying. This stupid spider that's chilling out above me. Go the fuck away. Spiders always seem to know exactly where you are, and they're like, this seems like a good spot to just chill. And then they sit there and just wait. They're scheming, man. They just scheme more than, like, fruit flies, man. Rubbing their paws together like they got something cooking in the crock pot, but really, you know, they can't think about anything. They don't have brains. Ugh. Freaking insects, man. I hate those guys. Anyway, we will hopefully succeed in this attempt. So, uniform, can you feed enemy positions over? I'm going to listen to this girl and listen good. One o'clock? Boom. We are going to zoom in on this asshole. Oh, he walked away. Shit. Okay. I got fucking spotted again? Are you serious right now, coach? 
I'm just going going ape shit on these guys. I'm sorry. Um, that guy's done. We got a couple more here. I think I can see that guy's head. Yes. Okay. There we go. Now that that area is clear, I'm gonna have to take this next area real carefully, because if I fuck this up. I won't ever let it go. I'll probably just flip my table over and then walk away. Um, so let's quickly see if we can climb this ladder, actually. That'd be fantastic. No? Okay. We'll sneak around this corner. I'm going to actually engage night vision for a second here. The dumb thing is this isn't thermal. I wish it showed up as like heat signatures on these assholes, but that is not the case. So I'm going to stick into the foliage here instead of... Um, walking straight up the beaten path hopefully that'll deter this guy walking down from actually seeing me and uh... you know by extension shooting and killing me and i don't want to have to go through that shit again because like i said and described pretty well it is shit uh... i think i'm gonna have to get to this actual objective before they trigger enemies so there's the radar. These guys are aware of my presence. What I'm gonna do is just chill out right here. This guy is no lo okay. Now he's looking at me. Shit balls, man. So what I want to do is wait for him to walk away. Let's get all the way down. And come on. Fucking Christ. Ah. Okay. This could be difficult, my friends. I didn't expect this game to ever get hard, but maybe some increased blood flow happened during this last mission, and uh, this could be difficult. Anyway, I'm going to engage night vision because it might make this just a little bit easier. I don't think it's going to make it too, too much easier, but it might give me an idea of where I'm supposed to go or something like that. Anyway, we will yet again try to get past... These asshole Russians who seem to be actually quite smart, which is surprising for a game like this, but, you know, I applaud your effort, uh, CryEngine 3 users, to uh, make a game a little challenging for the user, at least for me, probably not for most people. I think I'm probably just missing out on a little bit of a, an easy cue that I am should be noticing, yet I am commenting, which makes it a little bit harder, so... Uniform, can you feed enemy positions over? Let's cloak into here. And I'm gonna try and shoot him out. God damn it! What the f is this shit, man? Okay. <laughs> uh, fucking A, man. Okay, let's see if we can take out these guys and uh, hopefully we can still beat this mission despite the fact that these guys are on high alert. Uh, okay. You're dead. One more asshole over here. Where is he? I don't see this guy. Oh, he's way over here. I think there's a piece of wood right there. Anyway, we'll creep around the corner until we can actually see his body. And take him out. Come on. There we go. Alright, this could be quite difficult, so I think instead, next time, if we do fail this, which I'm assuming we're going to, just because of the fact that I botched that entire process, we're going to um, take out the guy on the left first, who might be looking at us. I hmm, I don't know who is seeing us, that's the problem. Like, I wish it to told us who is actually like seeing us right away, but uh, anyway, we're going to trigger this, and then we're going to run back here. And then quickly, if we can, go prone here. And then I'm going to zoom in and wait for this guy to fucking walk down here when I will straight murder his ass. Boom. There's one. I got nine bullets left in the mag. Let's just be patient. These guys are probably going to come down here. Hopefully I can line these assholes up. No. Take out those two. We get two more. Come on, you know you want to. I'll throw a cookie out for you, even. Shit. Uh, ball sack, man. I lost him when I zoomed in. God damn it, I know he's here. 
Show your hiney. There you are. These guys are sneaky, man. Not sneaky enough. Okay, I think this guy's probably going to just chill out in his watchtower. So we're going to creep up from behind and kick it like Tybo. And then, hopefully, he does not look to his left. Um, he's probably going to just be chilling in his... Oh, fucking shit. I pressed the wrong button. God damn, that freaked me out. Okay, well, good thing he's an idiot. So we'll just take him out and uh, clear that area. Thank God. I did not want to have to do that again. Now we have to reach the observatory building um, detected, which uh, I think I've already been detected. So, <laughs> you know, whatever, I guess. But we killed everyone that did detect us. Thankfully, they didn't call in like a big-ass radio Six, signal. Two, I've reached the objective in one piece. Yes, certainly one, one piece. That is good. Position. Okay, so we're going to go prone here and uh, get ready to take out some serious amount of assholes. Got so. nationalists got cold feet. I like this view, though. This is a pretty good view. Looks a lot like my dorm building. Got the Y section, except for there needs to be two sections, one going up that way and that way. All right, so we finally got through that part of the mission. That was a bullshit area, but, uh, you know, whatever. I guess I will just have to... Think past that. It is not <clears throat> something I should hold against the game. That was a good job, game. You know, little, little applause for you there. Q um, Hunger Games GIF. So we got these two guys that we want to take out. I think what we're doing is taking out one at a time, and then the other, the teammates that are just to the right there, are going to take out the other one. So. Uh, whenever I'm ready, I guess. Boom. Now they should take him out. Beautiful. Okay. And then we're going to take these guys out too. So let's take out the spotlighter there. And then that one too. That should be good. And we want to destroy, I guess, these just to make sure that they never come back. Should be alright. As long as this guy comes into our vision soon enough. Let's see if we can lead him. Ow. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, no. Thank God. He almost raised an alarm. I think that was pretty damn close. Okay, whoa. This is sort of weird because I feel like I'm hitting him, but then it sort of just like whizzes past him. But maybe it's just because he's moving a little bit, but I'm not really accounting for it. Oh, he stopped moving. Okay. Nice shot. Thanks. Yeah, three shots to kill. Oh, <laughs> nice. I like the uh, the bald guy description. All right, we'll take him out. Our teammates will uh, finish up with him. Let's just quickly reload just in case we have to kill some more foos here. I'm glad I can hit those guys because they're not moving. Freaking lights, man. They're always a trouble for me. Should I take this one out too? Why the fuck not? All right, so we got the patrol waiting. Uh, they're going to stroll on by like they're walking through the park with their babies in their carriage. And uh, they probably won't be aware of anything. So what we're going to do just a little longer. is just wait. Whoa, these guys are glitching. <laughs> Whoa. Calm down, guys. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, well, I'll just continue shooting. Oh, God, that was close. Well, these guys, uh, I think they're gone. I'm doing this mission on my own now. Uh, shit, give me the reticle, man. Thank you. That was a funny little glitch there. And take him out in two bullets. That should be good. We're going to zoom out, and I somehow our teammates teleported with their flying helicopter boat and just flipped the fuck up and went all the way over there? No, I don't know. They're just gone now. I don't have any teammates. Rest in peace. We'll do the 21 gun salute in just a moment here. Alright, so we're going to take out... I'm glad that they give us, like, the, uh... Like, whatever it's called. Directive, or whatever, so that we know exactly... Who we're going for and when, because I am not paying attention in the least. Let's quickly reload before we start taking out this entire area. We're going to take out Mr. Sniper Guy first. Then we'll take out him. And 
Uh, I want to lead this guy just a tad. Okay, well, I didn't quite lead him enough. And let's take out one more quickly. Ah, too much. There we go. This guy's not dead yet? Shit, man. That was a poor job. You clear the move. If he says fuck, I think that's not a good thing. So, hopefully we can avoid that in the future. What is this guy doing, man? I kind of want to take him out. He's literally just chilling. Okay, he's zooming out, so I'm taking him down. Booyah bays, man. Ooh, cutscene. We get a look at our character. Hello. You're somewhat attractive. I am somewhat attractive. Let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have eyes on the Russian principal. HVT inbound. This is like the first cutscene, really, so I'm gonna, um... Shut up for the most part. It doesn't look like it's rendered in the actual game's engine. Uh, looks a little bit better than the game graphics, at least. At least the character models do, from what I can tell. Faces certainly do. This is sort of weird because they're like not allowing me to do this part of the gameplay, which is, I mean, I guess that's fine because he took one shot, which is fine. But like, I think it's probably just more part of the story. Anyway, once again, I don't really give a shit about the story, but uh, you know, it's not really that important to me, at least. I don't know the full statistics on it. Maybe it is one of the best stories in the entire world, but, uh, you know, don't quote me. Or at least put me on the back of your book. Oh, God, that eye, man. What the fuck is going on there? He's just a rager. He's probably on some sort of drug. So I wonder if, like, here, oh, Jesus, those, oh my God, this guy is crazy. <laughs> He's freaking madhouse, man. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I can't get over that. Oh my god, he needs to cool it, man. Get some Kool-Aid, put it in your flask, and just chug that shit. Uh, we're gonna have to do some serious shooting, but I was once saying, I wonder if, like, military guys are ever, or, like, always on Adderall. Like, it seems like that'd be a pretty sweet advantage to have over the enemy team. If we're on performing performance-enhancing drugs, and they aren't. Let's take out this machine gun because he's going to be a bigger problem. Uh, yeah, let's take out machine gun man. And uh, you know, I'm just like I'm just shitballing here or spitballing, shitballing. Um, it seems like oh a double shot that was pretty sweet. Freaking two for one on the mint there, double mint fresh gum. Um, yeah, I mean, like, if I were in the army, I'd probably take Adderall when I go into battle. Just be, like, super focused and, like, I mean, we call it limitless at my school. At least on my floor, that's sort of the joke, because a lot of people take it and they get a lot of homework and studying done and stuff, which, you know, whatever. Like, I'm not saying go do drugs, kids, but, you know, I haven't taken it, it's just a lot of people do. And it seems to help them, like, they get a lot of shit done. Like, it does seem, like, limitless or, like, you know, that Bradley shit. Cooper film. But I'll let you guys watch the rest of this cutscene here, and uh, we'll probably dip out after that. I might not be able to hold in the laughter if they show this guy's intense face, though. I can, like, you could just see it from the back of his head. You can just tell he's like, just like beaming rabies spewing out of the side of his mouth, like a horrible sea otter. Just wait, oh my god. <laughs> I freaking love that face. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. I don't think I'll ever get over that. Alright, so we finished that part of the mission from out of nowhere. Um, and that took 42 minutes. Oh, that's total playtime. Anyway, this is going to be the end of this episode. Um, I will be putting up another one pretty soon. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy having you guys here. So uh, it means more than you think. And uh, I'll see you around.